untuk melaksanakan Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan mulai 18 Mac 2020 iaitu lusa hingga 31 Mac 2020 di seluruh negara. It's May 29th, Sunday. Good morning. This is Nantini and you're watching Blank Morning News. In breaking news this morning, a woman in Kedah has been arrested for beating up her so-called best friend after an argument took place between the two. The victim, a 19-year-old woman, has suffered injuries and minor concussion. Hello, Bestie. Now what's happening so nice to meet you. When she left, she's a top ever. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of big people. Whoa, are you trying to call me fake? What? No, I'm not calling you fake. Oh, are you sure? Because it sounded like you called me fake. I can't believe you said that. We've been friends for almost 10 years and now you have the audacity to call me fake? What about you then? Like, aren't you freaking innocent in front of everyone? Wait, you misunderstood what I said and how am I freaking innocent here? If you're talking about freaking innocence, why not I tell your boyfriend about how you've been to tell him all this time? Huh? Whoa, I can't believe you said that. Aren't you dead? Now let's move on to our field reporter Jahi who is on the scene outside the courthouse where the suspect is currently being prosecuted. Jahi, can you tell us what's going on out there? Yes, Nantini. Currently, I'm right outside the courthouse where the suspect has been charged with assault. She may be faced with imprisonment which may extend to 3 months or real fine of 1,000 ringgit or both. A few moments later. Now, here with me is the victim. Hi, I would like to ask you some questions. What would you like to happen to the suspect after all of this has happened? I would like a genuine apology. Although she attacked me, I still see her as my friend. I just hope that she learned a lesson and she wouldn't do this anymore to me or anyone else. That's it folks. That is the victim for today's assault case. She is now anxiously hoping that the court may take charges against the suspect. Now, back to you Nantini at HQ. Right. Thank you, Jahi. Moving on, we have a short interview session with the champions of a competition which most of us have never heard of. Let me welcome the 2021 champions of paper airplane towing competition, Theo, Najla, Jaslyn and Sabira, who has the world record of 56.61 meters. In primary school, I've always loved playing with paper airplanes, but I never thought that it would have been made into a competition. So tell us more about how you found out about this competition. Thank you for having us here today. During our class break in college, we first dressed and decided to play paper planes. After a while, one of us actually said, Man, we are so good at this. I wish we could have a paper plane competition. And we all stopped and started to think, why not? So we googled up and actually found a competition and we just joined without thinking twice. Hmm, that's amazing. It would be great if you guys could explain to us on how this competition is carried out. For example, like the rules and its procedures since we are only hearing about this competition now. Okay. So the competition is held indoors in a room with no way, no air con, no ventilators, and we are all given one piece of blank A4 paper which weighs about 100 grams. And we should only fold it, no ripping, gluing, cutting, stapling or ballasting is allowed. Wow, that actually sounds pretty simple. But I'm pretty sure with a 56.61 meter record, you guys must have put in a lot of effort and it must have been pretty challenging. So, overall, how is your experience joining this competition? Why not Sabira share with us her experience? Wait, wait, sorry. Uh, do you mind repeating the question again? Oh, that's okay. I asked you about your experience joining this competition. Oh, um, okay. Overall, it was really fun. It didn't even feel like a competition. I believe All of us had so much fun and we really enjoyed our time there. I hope that many people will know about this competition now and many will take part in it. So, what are you waiting for? Do join this competition. Yes, it really did expose us to this competition. That's the end of this interview, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on Blank Morning News. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye. Now, moving back to the HQ. So, to the people who watched this interview, Why not give this competition a try? Who knows, I might be interviewing one of you guys next year. Now, on to the next news. Last night, a TikTok video went viral with 2 million views in only 2 hours of being uploaded on the platform. It caught the attention of the viewers whereby it was labeled as the OMG fake friend detected and is now spreading widely in other various social media platforms. Okay, 
Okay, hello everyone! Today, as usual, I'm going to review one of my new products, which is... My friends are also here, so I'm young. Hi, all. I'll let my friend guess what the product is. Okay, Sabira, what do you think? Is it cleanser? Moisturizer? Or maybe toner? Uh, no, it's not. How about you, Jocelyn? Do you know what is this? I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. Both of them got wrong. Actually, guys, this is the new organic face scrub that I just launched last week. Whoa, cool. Do you mind telling us the benefit of the product? Okay, sure. This scrub has a lot of benefits. One of them is that it can help to exfoliate your skin. Exfoliation is the process of removing dead cells from the cerium corneum, which is at the top layer of the skin, to increase cell turnover. Thus, it can make your face appear smoother, brighter, clearer, and more radiant. Huh? It can make my face smoother and brighter? What product is this? I should try it though. Yes, definitely you should. This is the new face scrub from my brand. Wow, I wish you were pretty after this. But I think it's not enough lah, because I, I want to reduce my acne too. If you want to remove your acne, you can use an anti-acne cleanser from my brand. It will definitely solve your problem. Yes, yes, I tried it already. You know, the product, it does not just remove your acne, but it also helps to keep your face moisturized all the time. The anti-acne cleanser is one of the heat products ever since it was launched. Huh? You should really put like a flower scent to this. It's so disgusting. It smells so bad. Ew. Oh, my mouth. Wow. That was pretty dramatic. I hope that this video will not bring her product line down. Pretty sure the organic smell isn't as bad as what's being described. I guess that's it for today, guys. That's the end of our news today. Sorry, guys. We have one last news to go. Thank you, Miss Lai Cheng, for making this day more fun. I personally think that studies doesn't guarantee our future 100%. But what actually contributes to who we really are is our communication skills and how we behave around others. Throughout the journey upon completing this assignment, I realized how important it is on perception of others and the application of listening skills. Throughout this course, I have learned a lot of things regarding how people communicate and also how to communicate better with other people in different ways. Throughout this semester, I've learned a lot about interpersonal communication skills. It's all thanks to you because now I already know that proper words and behavior can make things different. Interpersonal communication class was definitely fun and interesting to learn. For me, I can safely say that this class was a stress buster kind of class to me. In this whole semester, what I learned from interpersonal communication is to be able to speak more effectively and to communicate more virtually to other people. That is all from us and we hope you guys really enjoy our video. Stay safe and take care of your physical and mental health everyone. Bye! I would like to thank my teammates for always putting their utmost effort into the whole project and making this whole thing really fun. Not just that, I also want to thank my teammates for giving a good cooperation. That is all from us and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay safe and take care of your physical and mental health. Bye! And after making this video, it was so fun. I learned a lot about editing. But, um, Thanks to my teammates who put in a lot of effort to edit this video and come up with the ideas. Thanks for the cooperation guys. I guess that's it. I also want to take this opportunity to say thanks to all of my team members for giving their full cooperation to complete this video assignment. I also want to say I am grateful that to be a part of this team. Now I just wish everyone to take care, stay safe and all the best in everything. And I'm signing off.